Mohamedou Sumara is a name that Thai fans already know only too well after the Malaysians scored the winning goal against Thailand in the recent 2022 FIFA World Cup qualification game. And now they'll be seeing a lot more of him because the Malaysian is now plying his trade in Toyota Thai League T1. The 26-year-old was born in Gambia but moved to Malaysia when he was just 12. He started his football career in 2013 with PDRM before moving on to Perlis and then Pahang where he shone bright enough to be capped for the Malaysian national team. And now a new chapter is about to be written in Mohamedou's football journey as he's joined Police Tero of Thailand, one of the most successful clubs in the last two decades of Thai football. And he's determined to bring his current team right back to where they belong. We asked Mohamedou how he's found his first two months at his new club in Bangkok. Yeah, I'm very happy with the team. The players have been very friendly. They welcome me with open hands. I mean, I can see the, the unity, like one family, everyone is happy, everyone works hard. And then I feel, I, feel, I feel good being here. I feel like I'm one of them already, so I'm happy to be here. With me in the team, I wish I could help them, you know, achieve something, go to the, a bit in the top, go to the top or qualify for the, the, the AFC. I mean, anything is possible. I'm determined to play, to give my best. Uh, I just want the team to win. I mean, every game to get three points, that's my, that's my aim. Winning, come, winning, come, win comes first. If I score, it's extra bonus. But then win comes first, so, well, I hope I score goals, a lot of goals, so yes. So on the face of it, Police Tero appear to have bagged themselves a brand new attacking weapon. But if you're worrying about Mohamedou trying to settle in Thailand, well, on that score, he's got some big help because fellow Malaysian Dominic Tan has already been at Tero for a year. The Malaysian national team centre-back joined the Silver Shield Dragons when they were in T2 last season and now he's become an integral part of their squad. And after a year of adjusting himself, he's ready and willing to help Mohamedou settle in as quickly as possible. Um, of course, the, the style of football here is different. So um, at the beginning it was not easy, but after a while you get used to it. So now I'm well adjusted to the football here. Yeah, of course, uh, he's been here only for, for a while. So it takes time. It's not easy to come to a foreign country and, and you know, play the same style like we were playing before, so of course he's adjusting every day and, he's, and I have seen, I mean all of us have seen improvements and he's been doing very well here. Uh, of course we, you know, we want to give our best every game, so we just take it game by game and uh, see what happens, uh, yeah, game by game. One thing is clear, Police Tero now have two top Malaysian internationals in their ranks and both men will be striving to see Police Tero reach new heights in 2020. How will they and the Silver Shields Dragons get on? Well, keep watching One Play Sports to find out.